Hello everyone and welcome to another game of World of Warship Blitz. This time in the Tier 10 Monster, the German battleship, the Grosse Kurfürst. So I've got a video sent in by um, some viewers on the Republic. I've got the Yamato when I work out how to manage the file format. But it's an excellent looking game. Um, but I don't think I'm going to, I think I might have to go out on the press account and get a few of the rarer ships. So this is the Grosser Kerr first. Now, um, using the press account, for your benefit, I have been exploring the builds for the Bismarck. And for the Bismarck, I've found that the secondary build seems to work best for me. So the Bismarck, you can turn it into a bit of a sniper. But what happens at long range is you eat a lot of citadels, so you're not really a great sniper. So what I've done is gone for the secondary build. Here we have the secondary build. Now I'm firing AP, but um, you know, um, yeah, he's turning away. Any hit is any hit. And up ahead we have um, a Seattle and my guns. Now because I've gone for a secondary build, it means that my gun rotation is up. Hauling. <laughs> Someone's already taken a bite out of the at Seattle. May as well add to the mix. There's an opposing grosser curve first. Get that rear gun doing some work. Um, six seconds until we um, the other guns come into line. A lot of bounces over the top of the island, which is fortunate. That could have been a bit of a mess. And this Alsace fires over the top of the Gross Kerr first. So um, the German battleships tend to eat more citadels at longer ranges. So I'm trying to close the range. But that is a pretty nasty wall of red right there. So um, I'm going to make my way out of here. Because I'm eating a lot of fire. And although it's a tough ship and I've equipped it with fairly substantial heals... Um, that Hindenburg deserves a bit of attention, and it'll hurt too, this. Hindenburg has pretty powerful shells. So there's the Hindenburg, the Alsace has taken a bit of a punishment. Someone's close by, and now we're going to get to see where this ship, because my secondaries were alerting me, so we'll give it a bit of, oops, give it a bit of firing. Yep, that's, um, so this poor Seattle here is a bit exposed, and you can see that my secondaries are just going to town on it. So he's reversing into cover. Um, I'm ignoring that Hindenburg. I am taking a lot of damage. We're getting some hits on him. See if we can get some nasty hits there. But those secondaries, you can see all those little secondaries are just chewing him up. And we'll see if we can get him, get him dealt to. Um, so the Yamato took him out, okay then. I thought it was my secondaries when I was playing. I was thinking the secondaries on this are really good. But still, 74 hits with the secondaries. So right now, um, I've been sort of like the primary target. I've taken a hell of a beating. Um, I'm on fire. And um, this Hindenburg is doing probably the best thing he can do to try and take care of me. Which is to burn it to the ground. So we're going to basically... Um, well, I'm not going to try and fire at that. Let me just see if I can get the last couple of seconds of the rapid of the of the um, of the precise aiming. Three hits. It is long range. It is a long range game. And the meta at um, tier ten is its range, and that's not a meta that the grosser curve first particularly enjoys. So it's a big ship. And firing at range means he gets a lot of hits. Let's see if we can add to this guy's misery. He's turning away. So the only thing that'll help me there is my incredible dispersion. Close but no cigar. And um, yeah, we, uh, we back out of the fight. But still, we've managed to cause a substantial amount of damage. Even with a low number of hits. So yeah, so unfortunately I'm not really in a situation to be able to brawl with this ship. So I'm going to have to say that the secondaries are a lot of fun. Um, I'm glad I'm not up against any torpedo boats. 
But as you can see, everything's just on the edge of the horizon. Um, so that Frederick de Grosser, unfortunately, if I fire at him, I'm just going to be shooting at a landmass, so I slow it down. Come on. He's going to come and pop out the other side of the island. I've got a, uh, a, a precise aim. Do I use that? Yes, I do. And then off it goes. So that uh, precise aiming one. Nice set of hits there. Um, you can see that I've cooked off my last heel. This is probably an even fight, to be fair. Um, unless, of course, he's... Oh, yeah, well, I'm getting help, so that always that always makes a difference. Get two shots off with the... Um, so I've got a commander in this with the uh, improved precise aiming. What's that? That's a gearing. Well, I'm not going to try for that. That's a waste of time. Let's see if we can land some more shots on this uh, Frigid de Grasse. The gearing's heading the other way out. And we get a final set of hits. 8,000 damage at extreme range. Not bad. So yeah, so um, the gameplay at tier 10 doesn't favour this ship. Um, I'll have to say. Um, but um, it is a lot of fun if you get close to someone with the secondaries. Problem is, at tier 10, the, the someone you're likely to get close to is a destroyer. And, um, yeah, uh, they, <laughs> their torpedoes are far more dangerous. So 78,000, no kills, but still a lot of damage done, supported the team. Um, and um, the number of hits, uh, 74,000, 74 secondary hits, 51 main battery hits, a citadel. So that's the gross occur first. Um, I mean, we can see some of the numbers here. 66,000 hit points. I mean, there's a 10 tier 10. 28 knots, but 38 seconds to full speed. <laughs> so, what, 10% of the game? Um, main gun's 90 second reload, which is nice. 2,154 damage. Main battery. Fantastic secondaries, nearly 8 kilometer range, um, although I found in the Bismarck you can almost, or well, Tirpitz, one of the two, you can almost get it out to 8 kilometers. Um, surface detection obviously is shocking. Um, that is Gross Kerr first in battle. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.